Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm here at Fulton Harbor, and they are setting up for the Oyster Fest. The Oyster Fest is an awesome yearly event, and it raises money for the Fulton Volunteer Fire Department. How awesome is that? They usually have two big tents here. I'm pretty sure I saw another big one right behind this one. Uh, this tent here is usually um, crafts, you know, vendors selling various things, art, jewelry, knickknacks, just about everything, homemade beef jerky, that kind of stuff. And then there's a second tent where they have food, beer, live music, events, all going on over the, uh, I believe it's usually a four-day weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, I always had a good time at the Oyster Fest, really enjoyed it. I'm going to cut right over here, kind of in front of this oncoming car. Yeah, there's the other tent. You buy uh, tickets and... What they'll do is, probably that strip that we just drove on, they'll set up uh, the carnival. That's what they've always done before. There's some signage for you. The Fulton Oyster Fest. I haven't looked at anything online this year. I don't even know when the date is, to tell you the truth. Um, probably next weekend, since it's Saturday. If it was this weekend, uh, I, I, I think it would be open right now. <laughs> I remember right in that spot there, there'd be a vendor uh, with a monkey. And uh, you would give the monkey, you know, a dollar or whatever. And uh, the monkey would tip his hat to you. It's one of those cute little monkeys, not the uh, rip your face off and eat it monkeys. Which I believe are various chimpanzees. That's, there's the playground in there. And they got a few porta potties. That's a lot of porta potty. Well, there's a lot of beer drinking going on here. This is a, uh, how do they say it? A drinking town with a fishing problem? <laughs> Rockport Fulton? Usually I'm showing you that side of the street where all the uh, fishing boats are. But it's an awesome event. I always had a good time with my knees. I, I haven't done it in a few years, but always had a good time. Bring the kids here. Uh, it's always good to come early, bring your kids, then get a babysitter and come back at night for the bands and uh, the, the beer drinking. And they always have food, you know, barbecue, turkey leg, different organizations set up booths. Um, different churches and whatnot with different food. It's a good time. Yeah, the Oyster Fest. I would imagine they still do it the same way. You get a big plastic Oyster Fest mug, and they're really cool. I had mine for years and years. And then you buy tickets, and with those tickets, you can buy beer. Well, you can't buy beer, can you? You can only rent it. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the setup. You can see it is it is choppy out there in the water. I'm going to go here. Thank you, buddy. And in the harbor here, it's nice and cool. Here comes another truck. Oh, it's a traffic jam, huh? Usually because I get over here at, like, what? Sunrise, 7 a.m., something like that. There are the beautiful oyster boats. Let me pull over and let this guy by. The guy that was just in front of us is now behind us. Or the lady, I'm not sure. And there's the other truck. I guess everyone's got to pass us twice today. Is that the rule? Did they want their quality camera time? <laughs> 
Well, we better get in front of you and then come to a stop. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, folks. So now I'm going to go around you. All right, all right, all right. They got the fishing rods. They're all ready to go. They are all ready to go. You can see by the flags there, the wind's going pretty good. And right now it's around noon. Oh, uh, to follow up from that last video I posted, I uh, checked on Luciano. He didn't need anything, didn't want anything. He mentioned, um, I asked him if he was going to go over to the tables if it was raining tomorrow because I know when they have church services Sunday, he likes to get out of there, you know, too many people maybe. And he said um, if it's raining, he has $9. He's going to go to the donut place right next to the church and uh, get some coffee and whatever he buys and hang out there. And I said, um, don't forget, I'm still holding your money. And he kind of made a surprise face. And I said, yeah, I still have uh, X amount of your dollars. And he was like shocked. And I guess he had forgotten about that. But I mean, every time I run and get him something, I tell him how much he has left, you know, and put the receipt in the envelope just so I remember how much he has left. And um, he kind of thought it over, and I asked him a bunch of times, "Do you, you know, like, are you allowed to cook here? Do you want me to go get you something hot now? And, oh, man, you could just see his face light up, and he was like, um, can you get me that chicken that you got me last time? And he paid for it. I, I just ran and got it uh, last time. And, and, I, and I said, yeah, but you know that chicken was $29. Um from, I don't know what it is, uh, Golden Chick or whatever that place is called. They got good chicken, but 15 pieces for 29, 15 tenders came to $29 with tax. And he was like, oh, he's like, well, I actually, I'd rather have Popeye's. And I'm like, I'll, I'll go to Popeye's. So he got 14 pieces of chicken and he asked me to get him stuffed jalapenos which they don't have at Popeye's, but I knew Sonic had those. And I got him an order of those from Sonic. So right now he he's doing what he's doing when I uh, interrupted him. Watching uh, cartoons, all nice and warm. He's got his glasses and his headphones on. And uh, he's eating jalapeno poppers and fried chicken. And I let him know, you know, here's how much I spent today, so I still have this amount of your money. And I said, you said you only have $9. Do you want me to give you some of that money? And he's like, no, because then people will ask me for money, and I'll just give it away. And I'm like, well, you, you got to stop doing that. And he's like, oh, I don't mind. But, um, yeah, he's a real generous guy. So, uh, yeah, I, I let him know how much money he has left that I'm holding. And made sure that he knew he could call me if he needed anything. Because watching the dogs, I, I just don't get over there to check on them every day like I would like to. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. I climbed that. I, I went in the back of the truck last night for a few hours and got really good deep sleep. But when I was getting back into the house, it was raining. It was cold. Oh, and um, the 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 lady, uh, the mother to the two dogs I'm watching, she had said, you know, if you see a stray dog around, we've been feeding him. And I spotted him for the first time today, and uh, I put out a bowl of food for him, and he came and got it. So that made us happy. Yeah. There was a there was a young man at. Um, Popeyes and I got there at 11 I'm probably their first customer of the day and a really nice kid you know, you know he's probably 16 working his first job really nice kid and uh, you could tell he was probably playing video games till 4 in the morning he's like hi can I help you and I'm like hey dude first off you gotta calm down alright you, you need to get off the weed son 
<laughs> he's like, oh, I don't smoke. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just kidding you, buddy. He, he was a good kid. Kids, kids working, you know, kids doing something good for him. He doesn't need some old fart busting his chops, but there I am busting his chops. Wow. Look at this. We got a little closure up here. We'll have to go read the sign, see what it says. There's moon dogs. They got good eats. Let's see why it's closed. No through traffic. Wonder what's going on there. We got that all blocked up. Someone's down there working hard. Now we're back at the Fulton Yacht Yard. Who that? And uh, bench warmers right around the corner. Great place to eat. They got everything. It's two restaurants, one kitchen. And they got one big seating area. Family owned and operated. Right here in beautiful Fulton, Texas. Hey guys, thanks for riding along today. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.